Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2019 Volkswagen Atlas SEL Premium. This particular one is in platinum gray metallic with a golden oak interior. It's kind of a unicorn of a color combo, so we'll take a look at that. But notice the nice bold long line across the side of the car. It continues into the wheel arches from the headlights to the taillights. 21 inch Brazelton wheels. LED headlights, LED running lights, halogen fog lights, it has push button start, adaptive cruise control, lane assist, blind spot monitoring, rear traffic alert, a panoramic sunroof, also it has uh, a power sunshade, power lift gate, easy, open, easy kick open lift gate, it has the bumper applique on the rear bumper to prevent scratches, chrome exhaust tips, has the towing hitch, uh, which is standard, 5,000 pounds of towing, remote start, and power folding mirrors. Let's take a look inside. Here's a look at that golden oak interior. This also features leather seats that are ventilated and heated. Three seat memory, also lumbar support forward and back on these buttons right here for you. Fender Premium Audio. So you've got a subwoofer in the rear hatch uh, above the, the uh, spare tire. You also have power door locks, power folding mirrors as well as, well as heated mirrors. Uh, one touch up, one touch down on the windows as well as a window lock right there. Automatic headlights with a fog light function as well. To turn on fog lights, you just pull out on that. Now note, when you pull out on this in the auto position to get fog lights, it defeats the auto on and off shut off. Your lights will be on all the time, along with your fog lights. So if you want the auto function to work, make sure you push that in. Down here, coin box for storage. You also have an adjustable steering wheel handle right there. It allows you to pull out on a steering wheel, raise it, lower it, lock it in wherever you want on that telescoping steering wheel, and then lock it back. Here's a look at Volkswagen's digital instrument cluster. I want to put nav on here. Let's see here. There we go. You have three views with this. This is the second gen of the uh, digital cockpit, uh, which allows you to do widescreen as well as crop screen and then the dials. So with the dials there, you can change what's in there. Just by pushing the view button, you can change between the dials, the widescreen, and crop screen. But also, touching and holding this button brings up a sub-menu. So you can actually change what's in the dials. And then also on the crop screen, it changes as well. So there's widescreen, there's crop screen, and then there is the dials. Parking gear shows up right here. Speedometer shows up here as well as the outside dial. And you can change it to where it shows in the center there too. So technically you can have three speedometers working at the same time. Um, you can also zoom in and zoom out using this little arrow, arrow up, arrow down on your display there. Over here on the steering wheel, it's a leather wrap steering wheel with a flat bottom. And then you have cruise control functionality right here. So this turns on and off the cruise control, the resume set, and then also um, your adaptive cruise control setting is right here. So you can set following distance. If you see those little arrows right there moving when I hit the button there. There's the white arrows next to that red seat belt icon. That's how you adjust your following distance. And then right here, here are your assist systems. This car comes with lane assist, blind spot monitoring, rear traffic alert, and front assist. And the arrow through these, you just use this up down button over here, and you can deselect things that way by hitting OK, also on the steering wheel right here. So when you turn things on and off, you're going to use the steering wheel pretty much for everything. Uh, also, volume control for the stereo is right here. That also does navigation and Bluetooth phone calls. So over here on this side, we have Google and Siri functionality. If you're plugged in using that USB port right there, 
Then you also have, uh, of course, this is the mouse setup where these these silver tabs left and right, uh, and then these arrows up and down, and then the view button here brings up, uh, of course, the different views. Most people go with the widescreen. These buttons here allow you to do song skip if you're streaming, and then also uh, preset skip. You do have uh, wiper control right there, rain, rain sensing wipers. It's hard to get a picture of that right there. But that button there, first one up is rain sensing. The wipers will swipe once and stop. Then you have a medium and then you also have a high. So you can adjust those. And then there's this little button here that allows you to fine tune it. Left is light, right is rain is an easy way to remember that. And for the rear wash or rear wipers, you just pull forward. I'm sorry, you push away one click and that does the rear wipers. For the back, pretty nice. Uh, it does have an MIB2 radio. MIB2 radio allows you to do uh, App Connect, which allows you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink, as long as you're tethered to a USB with your phone down there. That way you can do Waze, Android, or sorry, uh, Apple Maps, or Google Maps as well. It does also have a rear view camera with a trajectory steering. So you can actually see with the yellow line where you're headed according to the steering wheel. The green line remains static. And then the red line signifies where your bumper is. It's a full HD camera. Pretty pretty good picture on that as well. Dual climate zone up front. Also with a third climate zone in the back. So you can actually turn the system on right here. You can also hit the menu button and bring it up on screen up here. So you can drop a temperature on one side, raise it on the other. Same with the rear. You can also lock out the rear using that button there. Um, and then also um, heated steering wheel. You can turn that on at that button there or you have a button down here that you can turn on as well. I'm gonna turn that off, I don't need a heated steering wheel today. Sync button is up here as well as down here. And then an off button is right there. And then turning this knob, this middle knob, all the way to the left also shuts off the system. Again, it's dual climate zone there. You do also have something called air care. And what air care does is the filtration system. You'll see a blue line start to show up there. As long as all of the windows are shut and the sunroof is closed, it will actually scrub the air in a cabin, filter out uh, impurities and things like that in the air. So you're not breathing in any kind of polluted air or anything in the car. It's just being recycled from the outside. It's pretty cool that it does that. Uh, you'll also notice down here that there's a rest button. The rest button only works when the vehicle's been turned off, and what it does is recirculate either cooled or heated air in the car for up to 10 minutes. Actually, it may go a little longer than that, but I like to tell people up to 10 minutes. You don't want to leave someone in a car for 30 minutes or an hour and have the green light to do that and say, Reese's head, you, you, you could do that. <laughs> so, uh, I'm, as far as I know, it's up to 10 minutes. It may go a little longer than that. I've heard people say that it does, um, but it's pretty cool that you have that auxiliary port USB and then also 12 volt charger port right there here is a look at the key the key uh, has your unlock of course the rear hatch and lock and then uh, of course remote start right there uh, panic button is on the side right here on the side and the SEL premiums come with a lighted cup holder that's a light right there uh, this is all mo all wheel drive or four motion so you have this little knob here Turning it to the snow gets that. Then, excuse me, on road, then off road, and an off road custom. An off road custom allows you to adjust, tweak system, or uh, tweak systems. So you can adjust adaptive cruise control, climate control, hill descent, turn it on and off, steering. You can have it normal or sport. So you can do all of that, and that's just by using these knobs here. Now turning it back to the roadway, I can also use these modes. And if I like fingerprints, I'll use the touch screen. If I don't want to use fingerprints, I can push down right here and it changes just the same. Saving some fingerprints. Now I do also have an adjust functionality here on custom where I can tweak uh, between normal sport and eco on the drive system, adaptive cruise control, etc. Uh, also down here you'll see the push button start of course uh, and then an electronic parking brake. You just pull up to put it on and to take it off you put your foot on the brake and push down 
pretty easy there. This also brings up a 360 camera. So the 360 camera, you have a camera in the mirror, one in the nose, one in each mirror, excuse me, and then one in the, the backup camera. And you can actually touch a panel to bring up that specific camera. So left side, right side, and rear camera. And the trajectory steering still works. So you can change all of that just on the touchscreen. Also, you have park assist. Park assist allows you to park the car. Um, if you have trouble parallel parking and things like that, the car will actually assist. Um, now, the thing about that, if you're going to do parallel parking and you're going to test it out, uh, that camera does not detect cart corral. So if you're at a grocery store or something like that, you may want to uh, make sure you're not going to pack it back it into a cart corral. That could be problematic for you. Um, it's an AM FM satellite radio. So you have you have 18 presets for FM, 18 presets for AM, and then 18 further presets for XM. XM's free for six months. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, the three months actually. Um, and then you get Carnet free for six months. Carnet is going to be related to these buttons here: your information, roadside assistance, and emergency services. Also, you have garage door memory, three door garage door memory here. You have a lighted vanity mirror on each side. Pretty nice. And in your glove box, there is a uh, SD card reader as well as um, an extra one for navigation and then a CD card player right there. I'm sorry, CD player and an SD card holder right here for further SD cards. Manuals and all fit right in there. Again, over here you have heated and ventilated seats for the front row. So you look at the heavily perforated seats of the uh, SEL Premium, their leather seats. Also, the second row seats are also going to be heated. Just the outboard seats, not the middle. This is a bench. It does have a power sunshade and a power sunroof as well. That sunroof pops up with a windscreen right there. The panoramic roof covers the front two passengers. Um, the second section of glass there does not move, it's static. Uh, let's take a look at the middle row. This car comes in at 51035, and that is uh, the Golden Oak interior. There's no extra charge for that, but you have the two tone 21 uh, inch wheels, which add 700 bucks, uh, tow hitch, and then uh, luggage net are extra features there. Here's a look at the second row bench. There's also an armrest with a cup holder right here in the middle. They always forget to take the plastic off of that cup holder there. But you can get three car seats in this row. That's right, three car seats. And another neat thing here is um, three car seats in one row. You can put adults in the back row right there. Uh, they did come up with a two-way switch for the middle row seats. So it just lifts up like this and the seat pitches forward. The bottom drops out so you do not have to remove a car seat to get into that second row or that third row. Here's a look at your third row. The headrest just flick up with the flick of a wrist there. Notice how high off the ground those seats are. So an adult, a, a six foot plus uh, adult would sit in that back seat and not be uncomfortable. The seat just goes back with the flip of this wrist, or this uh, switch back and then you can lock it in place. There's also a slide underneath that allows this seat to go forward and back. They're a 60-40 split. Here's a look at the center console right here in the back. So your passengers can actually control uh, temperature back here as well as fan speed and also have heated seats on the two outboard seats. Two USBs down below and also a three-prong plug-in right there. Kind of hard to see right there. Here's a look through from the second row seats at the instrument cluster. There's your digital dash. Nice little cockpit layout there. This armrest here does have room for a medium sized purse and also there's a USB port in there as well. And there's a look up at that panoramic roof. There's also a sunshade on each side for these seats right here so you can uh, protect your kids from sun, direct sunlight. Let's take a look at the back. Again, these 21 inch Brazelton wheels are unique to the uh, SEL Premium. 
Uh, you can get a Brazelton wheel in a 20 inch on the Tiguan SEL Premium R line. Those are the only two cars that these wheels come on. Here's a look through from the back. A look at the front there. These seats will fall down with just a flip of that little switch right there. And then you do have a continuous flat surface all the way back. Those benches there will fold flat as well. Seat belt clips on each side. 12 volt charger right there. 17 cup holders in this car. It also comes with a roadside assistance kit, cloth mats, rubber monster mats, and cargo blocks here. And this particular one does have a cargo net as well. You can also get a cargo cover which will fit into there and cover the entire third row seats with the seats folded down. Bumper applique right there and a power lift gate switch right there. LED tail lights come standard on this car and also the SEL. The SEL doesn't come with these sexy wheels though. Again this is platinum gray metallic with a deep I'm sorry with a golden oak uh, interior leather interior this car comes with a six-year, 72,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty. That's direct from Volkswagen. And then also, we're going to give you a 10-year, 200,000-mile engine and powertrain warranty. It's nationwide if you buy from me here in St. Peter's, Missouri. Also, we're going to give you three years of free maintenance. Your 10, 20, and 30,000-mile oil change are going to be picked up by the dealership, so you won't pay for an oil change until you hit 40,000 miles. If you have any questions about this car, please give me a call at 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. You can also reach out to me on Facebook, Facebook Messenger, YouTube, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.